Brass knuckles can deliver a deadly blow, and they're illegal in Ohio. So why do so many specialty and pawn shops get away with selling them? Alexandra Lewis investigates, and she joins us now live from Fairborn. Alex. Here at Boys Halloween Shop, 15 bucks will buy you brass knuckles, but they may be packaged as either a belt buckle or a paperweight. But police say no matter what the name on the package, they can still do serious damage. And at least one officer we talked to say this may be a forgotten weapon. And the fact that brass knuckles are illegal to sell here in Ohio may be a forgotten law. And it scares me. West Carrollton mom of four, Jessica Fox, says brass knuckles are no toy. You have problems with kids coming into schools with guns, knives, and they overlook what these can potentially do. These can be just as damaging. That potential damage is why Ohio banned the selling of brass knuckles. According to the Ohio Revised Code, to manufacture, sell, or furnish brass knuckles to any person other than law enforcement is an unlawful transaction of weapons, a second-degree misdemeanor. I don't think it's a good idea to sell them. But the law doesn't stop places like Foy's from selling them anyway. In today's world, a lot of things are misconstrued and developed and designed different ways to um, conceal them in terms of either belt buckles, necklaces. Because they're not brass knuckles when they're packaged as belt buckles, nor paperweights. Well, sure, they're going to get in the wrong hands. If they're buying them, they're going to be tend to use them. Police say you're not going to find these brass knuckles disguised as other things at, say, Walmart or Kmart. You will find them, though, at pawn shops or other specialty stores because they're not as heavily regulated as those big box chains. Sugar Creek Police Sergeant Mark White calls brass knuckles obsolete, saying you'd be hard-pressed to find them in a recent police report. From my experiences, no, I've not had any cases directly in the last, like I said, 10 years or better where I've seen a set of brass knuckles on anyone or even have taken them off anybody. Sergeant White says due to a lack of complaints, there's a lack of enforcement on stores selling the disguised weapon. But for some, it's still scary knowing they're out there and available. I hope my kids never get a hold of them. Police say today these brass knuckles are more like collector's items or antiques, but they're still dangerous and they should still stay out of the hands of children. Reporting live here in Fairborn tonight, Alexandra Lewis Fox, 45 News.